you guys doing? Um, I'm going to show you how to automate sending Facebook leads from your Facebook lead gen campaigns directly to um, an email address or email addresses um, using a third party program. So you set up a Facebook lead gen campaign and you're using instant forms um, which are submitted by users on Facebook directly to you. Where do those forms go? Um, right now the forms they stay in Facebook. Facebook doesn't have an option of setting up um, those forms automatically so move that over there I'm going to show you if you jump into your Facebook page where you can see them is in the meta business suite and then you're going to click on all tools and instant forms and the form that you have will be here um, you can download those leads there manually this isn't very efficient it um, you know it requires you logging in here um, and downloading them, um, remembering the dates you downloaded from previously, or downloading them all again and taking out duplicates from when you did it previously. It's not very efficient. It sucks. Um, here's how we do it at our agencies. We use a program called Zapier, um, and it is a premium function of this program. So there's a free version of this, and then there's paid versions of it. And the paid version of it um, to do this, I believe, starts at $19.99 a month. Um, but you're going to want to sign up for that because this will make your life a whole lot easier. Um, and so we'll jump in. So uh, once you sign up, you create a zap, click here, and just uses basically like if then logic. So if a Facebook lead comes in, then this happens. Um, and there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can um, have it sent to a Google Sheet automatically to a spreadsheet if you don't want emails. It can push it into CRMs. It can do a lot of different things um, with this information, and it can work with a lot of different programs. Uh, so we will find Facebook lead ads again a premium feature So if a new lead comes in um, then we're gonna have an email sent out So you want to find your uh, Facebook page that you're using Once this is connected it's gonna pull all your Facebook stuff in automatically so the stuff will just populate it just takes a second Again, I'm using this as like our, our uh, demo. Um, the form, it'll pull that in automatically. See our lead form, so it pulled that in in Facebook. Um, that's what it's labeled as, so we know we're using the right one in case you have multiple of them. And then we're gonna test the trigger, which is just gonna pull dummy information in. So everything is just, oh, this is dummy data. Depending on the questions you're asking now, the information that you're gathering, name, email, phone, created city, state, zip, whatever information, custom questions, yes, no, short answer, all that stuff will pull in here um, that you can then set up to be uh, sent by email, again, or added to a Google Sheet or pushed into a CRM. Um, for this example, we're doing Gmail because I find that to be the most handy, especially if you're an agency or a business owner and you want to see as these leads come in in real time, um, it gets you that notification. So again, if an email come or if a lead comes in through Facebook, then we're going to send an email. Choose your Gmail account. If you um, don't have it connected, you can connect it in that step. Um, and then again, just typing in, you know, who's this email going to go to? To um, CCC, Blind Carbon. Um, you can choose a different from name if you want, or you can enter it yourself. Um, if you have a reply to subject, you know, new Facebook lead. Is a new lead. And then you're going to type in um, all the data that you're gathering. And you populate that with these options here from the form. There's more, you know, if you want to know what ad it came from, um, what campaign, what ad set ID, all that different stuff. Um, you know, if you have any custom questions that you ask, you know, and yes, no, those will those will pull in here automatically. I just set up a, a really basic form, so it didn't have any of those, but um, you can add all that stuff there. Make your email, hit continue, and now it's going to send this email. Subject: New Facebook lead. Body type is plain. It's just saying, here's a new lead for you, and it's going to it'll automatically push that information that is entered by the user in the Facebook lead form. It'll drop that information in here and send it out automatically um, to have whoever it is that you deem it should be sent to. 
and that's it. You'll hit, you know, test action, and then you'll hit publish, and it will, um, from then on, send those emails uh, out to whoever it is that you need them sent to. One thing to note is you do have to be a page admin on the Facebook page. So you can't just be a user. You can't just be assigned like reporting rights or ad rights. You have to be a Facebook page admin. So if you're an agency, you're going to need your client to um, give you admin permissions. Um, or if you own the page, obviously, then you already are an admin. You should be good to go. Uh, but you do need to be an admin for this to work. Um, and after that, it's all automatic and it's done. So hopefully you found value in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I do try to respond to them. And um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to this channel. I put videos like this out um, when I come across doing this task for real clients in the field. So uh, as I do them, and I think, hey, this could be something that's interesting to um, our, our viewers I or, or to anybody that has this question on how to do it, I do make a video on it. So if you have any other questions, hey, how do I do this or that? Um, using Zapier or Facebook um, or any of the other paid ad platforms, Google, um, we do spend a lot of time in several of them. Feel free to ask, and I will uh, do my best to make a video on those too. Thanks so much, and have a good day.